if you walk down the street today and you ask people, what's your biggest fear? Most of the people these days are going to say, especially young guys, they're going to say, AI is our biggest fear. We're scared that artificial intelligent robots are going to walk down our streets and just start shooting everyone and killing everyone. Well, I have some great news for you. Don't worry. We don't need AI. The humans are doing it. Don't be scared. Well, actually, you should be scared about the humans because if you look at AI programs, AI programs are just programs designed by humans and carry out commands from humans. So if you have an AI program that's commanded to go and, you know, kill all the humans, it's going to go and kill all the humans. If you have an AI program designed to hand out candy to all humans, it will go and do that. If you have an AI that says, make sure there's no more homeless on the streets, it will go and do that. It might do that by shooting all the homeless, but... I mean, semantics, AIs don't really get a sense of humor at all, so they probably will go and shoot, and so we have to install some safeguards. That's AI, so it's all about the humans. So if you have a 1939 Nazi Germany going and, you know, killing everyone, well, it's because Hitler came and told them, hey, guys, go kill everyone. They're like, okay, sounds good to me. And, you know, in 2023, all the Islamists or Hamas and Hezbollah and all those other crazy people in Iran, um, they're like, Go kill everyone. So then, then all those people are like, that's all I want to do. And so they go and do it. And so to be scared of an AI is just a fallacy because you should be scared of humans. And right now we're at the inflection point of, well, we can change it or we can stop it or we can make it into our own image. But we're not. Instead, we're actually going the opposite way. We're making it woke. And woke just means that you're not supposed to punish people. And you're supposed to let people do what they want. And you're supposed to accept the bad. And definitely don't prosecute crimes. That would be very much illegal in 2023 America and beyond. And so obviously we have to change this. But that's besides the point. The point is, why are you so scared of an AI? The AI cannot harm you. The AI is just a bunch of ones and zeros. Um, the, the humans behind the AI, right? That's who sh we should be scared of. They're the ones currently today marching in the street. These, these tw 18 to 24 year olds who say 60% of them said that the October 7th massacre Hamas perpetrated on random civilians was justified. 60% of American youth said that, that it's justified. And trust me, when the younger it gets from 18 and lower, it's worse because they're being indoctrinated just like Hamas indoctrinating the Gazan youth. They're indoctrinating it in America. Tell them that this is fine. So when they get to 1824, that number is going to be way higher. Well, they're the ones currently marching in the streets. And in 20 years, they're going to be the ones that are programming these AIs. And what do you think these? What do you think they're going to program AIs? Do you think they're going to program AIs? You know what? We love the Jews. No, they're, they're going to program these AIs to say they hate Jews. Why? Because that's what they've been taught in, in, in college and university. Well, they learn is these Jews are just so bad. And, you know, they're killing everyone and. No, I don't remember the exact number, but I'm pretty sure it's around 60%. It's basically the same much. You say that they, they, they identify the Jews as their oppressors. They can they can understand that. They can see that. It doesn't matter if the Jew is, is, is broke and it has no money and it literally does nothing besides for open crack open the Bible and learn it all day. But he's the oppressor. doesn't matter if he's black. Still oppressor. doesn't matter if he's from the Middle East. Still oppressor. doesn't matter if maybe he came from Iran. I knew many, many Jews from Iran. Um, yeah, they're still the oppressor because they're Jews. And so, what do you think they're going to program to? They're going to program, they're going to program to AI that Christians are, are are the good people? No, I don't think so. I think they're going to program that Christians are the worst people in the world and they should be killed on the spot. Right? I'm just assuming, especially a white Christian, a white Christian who wants to live in America. Well, those are the worst. Those you have to blow up. And that's what the AIs are going to do because they're programming. And how do you do that? First of all, you have to direct them in schools. You say, no, actually. These are the good, you, you maybe Jews, don't don't hate the Jews, I don't know, and if you see a massacre, maybe I don't call it out, massacres are bad, you have to start training the people who are going to be creating the AIs that, hey, these things are actually, maybe don't do this, and then therefore they will go and they won't, and they won't go and create these massive AI monsters. But secondly, the way to counteract this is to create your own AI, and these AIs are going to go and counteract these bad AIs, and how do you do this? Well, let's say Terminator, right, and Terminator was a actually a really great understanding kind of, well, it's semi well let's hope it doesn't turn out exactly like terminator because lots of people died in terminator but and especially all throughout all the movies but the way to do it is to have a bigger robot and your my question well how can you have a bigger robot or bigger ai a stronger ai but look at them that maybe 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 someone's going to program a better ai how do you know well to look out through history um let's say let's go to germany um germany was infinitesimally weaker and the nazis and the the axis powers were infinitesimally weaker than the united states and the West, as oh, whatever, and the Allied powers. They were 
so much weaker. But why did they attack? These United States look really weak. They said, we're not going to, we're not going to do anything. You can invade Poland. It's fine. You can invade this country. We're fine. You can invade half of Europe. It's fine. You can take over Europe. We're still, it's still fine. France. And who needs France? You know, it's, well, we already have French fries in America. We're good. And so they, but they looked very, America looked very, very weak. And so that's why Germany went and said, we can do this. And they attacked the Soviets. And that the rest is history. And we won World War II, obviously, because America is so much stronger and has so much more of a manufacturing base. And Ford went and took over a huge, ginormous factories and created planes and tanks and planes and tanks and planes and tanks and destroyed everyone. And so right now, the Islamists think that they're strong. Hamas thinks that they're strong, but they're not. They're, it's, it's this weird illusion. And obviously, the United Nations is propping them up, so it's harder to go and destroy them right now. But within a few years, they're going to be absolutely obliterated by the stronger powers. Namely, Israel, America, and the rest of the West, hopefully, will join us and not go down the rabbit hole of, of Islamist rule, which is going to be a nightmare. Definitely, some countries will probably get taken over, but let's hope that all of them will get taken over. And we'll have some foreign... Of, of allied powers against this absolute insane thing but the point is that that's that we will be stronger we will have more of a ai manufacturing base if you will and we will go and we will be able to create ais that will search out and detect these bad ais and destroy them and if you have uh, missiles that are shot out of their cities by ai you will have ai programs to go and shoot them down and that's how you have to do it. And that's just how it works, right? We created missiles. Like, what are we going to do with these missiles? Now they're getting shot everywhere. Should we be scared of missiles? Well, technically, yes, we should be scared of missiles. But we have anti-missile defense systems, which we shoot missiles back and we kill them. And our missiles are stronger, okay? So if, if the Houthis want to want to go and fire missiles at our ships, guess what? We have bigger missiles and faster missiles and stronger missiles. And they go and they blow up those missiles. And then, yes, it's much more costly for the good guys. But... The good guys get to live in peace and prosperity, and then obviously your kids get to, who who survive them. They, their kids get to go and act like pamper little freaks, like it's currently happening now because we have these big missiles that are shooting down. And of course, right now, if you look in Israel, there are videos currently of hundreds of thousands of people running into their well, not in their homes, into their 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 missile shelter, their their bunkers, their their bomb shelters, and their mama, their safe rooms because you know they're getting hit by missiles. Well, America doesn't experience that, so therefore it's going to get worse if our kids better. But don't worry, AI will come to the rescue and will save all of us. And yes, yeah, so we'll have to fight the other AI, but it's not a bad thing because it's just like fighting humans. AI is just like fighting humans, and using AI to fight is just like fighting humans fighting. It's all the same thing. It's all you tell it. If you tell it to be good, it'll be good. If you tell it to be bad, it'll be bad. There will be people who are good, there will be people who are bad. Hitler killed 80 million people if you tally in everyone who died during World War II. If you want to tally in all the people who died because of World War II, that number is closer to 2 to 3 billion people. And if you go by a rate of, of thing, it would probably be more closer maybe even to 4 billion people because the population was exploding before World War II. And so Hitler killed around 4 billion people. So you're scared of an AI? We only have 8 billion people left right now. So let's say the AI will wipe out half the world that Hitler did that. So, I mean, I don't know if you should be so scared and don't worry about what you're going to say. Well, maybe if, if the AI is going to kill 4 billion people, then really it, sh it would be like 80 billion people because the those people never gave birth. But don't worry, that's not true because our, in our current universe, either you're gay or you live to 40 and don't, not have any kids because that's what everyone tells you to do. Or you're just celibate because of, you know, all the poison in our, in our, in our stuff and all the lead in our food and baby formula so don't really worry about that again all you have to worry about is making sure that the humans around you are the best possible and then you can just destroy every ai because well humans are the strongest ai is just a reflection of the human creating it so make sure that the human creating it are good and not bad and after that everything's good right now biden said he's going to be in charge of it i don't trust biden i don't trust kamala harris with this we need scholars like uh, i don't i don't even know who who, who it really is we have to i don't you know what, I don't know. But we need to find it, and we need to find it soon, and fix it. And that's how we're going to fix the world. And we're going to come basically into one big world, and everyone will live happily after. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, subscribe, like this video, and next time we're going to talk about... Well, you'll have to come to find out. Also, like the video. Also, subscribe, and comment. Definitely comment.